Welcome to Voices from the Bench, a dental laboratory podcast. Send us an email at info at voicesfromthebench.com or look for us on Facebook at Voices from the Bench. Greetings and welcome live from the DLAT at the pre booth. We are at episode 210. My name is Elvis. Oh, he's got an audience physically. My name is Barbara. How is everybody out there today? We are live, live. Live, not live, from live, the not live. I have to actually look at you this time, Barbara. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, DLAT, what do you think? It's a great show. Frick, yeah. There's a lot of people here. There's a shit ton of people here. Great food, great energy, great meeting, lots of people. We've had a ton of interviews. A ton of interviews. I only had to get up at 4 a.m., but it was worth it. Yeah. Great, great day. Still, there's people in here, and it's like 4.40. Yeah, it's so late yeah. in the day, and they end the whole first day with like a vendor's exhibit hall only. There's no classes going on, and I would have thought half of these people would have bailed by now. And they're still here. They're still here. Go I know. Home, people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a huge benefit for the vendors that show here because they don't have any CE courses, nothing, and everybody pretty much comes into the hall. It's, it's hopping. They were saying there's about 200 that were pre-registered, and I'm sure the numbers are up. So that's pretty good for a state show. Heck yeah. And they even got more. He said there was like 600 and 700 members. I, I don't know. I yeah. could be wrong. There's a lot of people. But there's a lot of people. There's Not a lot here, of, members. Though. There's a lot of members. There's yes. a lot of labs in Texas. This oh, is yeah. a big area. A lot of companies consider Texas a whole territory by itself because there's so many labs. You're just the man of wisdom. I know, a lot of, <laughs> I know a lot about a little. I don't know where you keep pouring <laughs> this stuff, but Jesus. Funny thing All is, day I, long, folks. I just make it up, uh-huh. honestly. Honestly. He's, a, he's the smart one. <laughs> so this week, even though we're at the DLAT, we are still bringing great conversations we had when we were at the pre booth at the LMT Lab Day Chicago. So if you miss the event, and I know many of you did for various reasons, this is a chance to feel like you're really there. It's actually the next best thing. I don't know if you could get any better than this, honestly. Nope. <laughs> So first up, we talked to good friends of ours, Randy and Scott James from Renstrom Dental Studios. We talked to them back at Lab Day 2020. I think they were actually the last people I talked to ever before the world shut down. Aww, yeah. But they came on to talk about how much they're growing and wait until you hear about how many technicians they hired during the pandemic and where they found them. It's pretty amazing. They grew a ton. Randy also talks about being on stage for the first time when she was speaking with Oregon. Then we had the extreme pleasure to meet and talk to the only female oh. lab owner in all of Aruba. Dun, dun, dun. Laureen? Flores. Flores. Did I get the Laureen I part do, right? I do believe I you did. I think so. Laureen Flores had a grandfather she never met that was a dental technician. Not only does she DJ on one of the hottest radio shows in Aruba, Laureen is doing big things in the dental lab on a very small island. And wait until you hear about how they control prices in Aruba. Yeah, they're friendly with each other. Yeah, it's going to blow your mind how they handle that. And then we wrap up the whole episode talking to Jennifer Cowherd and her friend Ashley, who were attending their first lab day. Jennifer is a removable technician at a dental school in Virginia. She's the only removable technician at this dental school. Ashley is a non-dental person who came along for the ride. Jennifer talks about the differences in working with students and faculty, and she's got a super creepy tooth creep Mm. story that you don't want to miss. So join us from the Preet booth at LMT Lab Day Chicago as we chat with Randy and Scott James, Laureen Flores, and Jennifer Cowherd and Ashley. Whipmix VeraWorl Resin Cleaning Station is the ideal piece of equipment to use in the 3D printed resin post process. Its oscillating, multi-speed stirrer produces or tornado-like vortex every 30 seconds and guarantees efficient, effective, and powerful cleaning whether units are individual or still attached to the build plate. They have two alcohol baths, which make an effective step wash system. It cleans more efficiently and there is less alcohol needed since the alcohol is reusable for both a fresh bath and a dirty bath. Super plus. The Very World's intelligent design offers features such as mode, 
time and start stop button display, which gives the operator full and automatic control of the cleaning process. A mesh basket used in the wash container makes it super easy to keep track of small printed parts when cleaning. The affordable unit's one year warranty ensures that you will have peace of mind as the owner. So visit whipmix.com or call 800 626 56 Five one for more information about this super popular product. We appreciate your support of the podcast, Whitmix. Is your lab in a position to take on new customers? Do you have the capacity to service more doctors? America Smiles has helped hundreds of labs across the country to acquire new dental accounts. They're the biggest name in dental laboratory marketing. Don't waste time mailing and calling hundreds of doctors just to see poor results and hear overwhelming rejection. Let America Smiles do all the heavy lifting for you. For just $195 a month, the America Smiles One Voice program will help you skip to the front of the line. They'll prospect your local or target area, produce your creative marketing, and do all the cold calling to leave you with extremely qualified appointments guaranteed to help you find your ideal clients and grow your business. Visit americasmiles.net One Voice. That's americasmiles.net backslash one dash voice to learn more about how you can increase your lab's bottom line. Use the promo code Voices from the Bench, all one word, during checkout to qualify for a month to month agreement, enabling you the freedom to cancel the marketing service anytime. If you'd like to speak to an agent who can answer your questions about a time tested, completely done for you approach to marketing, please give them a call at 708 279 9031. Join America Smiles One Voice today. Getting new dentists to try your lab has never been easier. And we appreciate your support of the podcast, America Smiles. Voices from the Bench. The Interview. That's dun dun. <laughs> It's weird to hear your voice now after listening and then, like, seeing you there. <laughs> it's in real life. Yay! LMT Lab Day Chicago 2022 Preet Booth. Here we are. Well, hey, guys. Scott Hi. and Randy. Jade from Renstrom. Am yes. I saying that right? Yep, yeah, Renstrom Dental. Dental Lab. Now, you guys sat down with me because Barb was, was sleeping. sleeping. <laughs> uh, lab Day 2020. <laughs> yep. I didn't even know who you all were. And we sat down. We learned all about your lab. Where are we at now? Well, we're about 20 additional people since then. Additional? Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm still looking, so if you are this, uh, we're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just Where's like the everybody else. Yeah. Uh, Minnesota, right? Yep, just north of St. Paul. Nice. In Minnesota. So. You've really expanded 20 people it's like in the fi- midst of a pandemic? and wow. We've added some more part-time, so it's like if you are looking at like full-time people, yeah. we have a couple more part-timers that bump up that number a bit, but yeah, we just keep adding and... Do you We're have part-time technicians? People to help, like, scanning and do things like that. Yeah. Yeah, that makes really? sense. I've never, I was never, never able to implement part-time. Well, we brought in, we reached out to students um, just kind of, like, through social media. Like, if you're interested in going into dentistry, come check out the lab. And we had a few who reached out. And they just started scanning with us, working in our ortho department. Wow. One wants to go to school to be a dentist. One wants to go to school for assisting. Mm-hmm. But they've been with us the last like six months or so. And are you hoping to suck them in? Yes. Oh, <laughs> well, the, the funny thing yes. is, is like even when it's like President's Day and they're off, they'll still come in and work even though they're off of school. Yeah. Like, oh. They'll even come in early, which I wouldn't have done that. I would have stayed home. <laughs> this is a day off of school, but that's how much they love dentistry. And so, do you it, get a snow awesome. day and they still make it into the lab even uh, though school is closed? Not. No, we don't do snow days in Minnesota. You just get you just your go. Butt. Oh. <laughs> you just get there. You guys are the champions. Yes. Yeah. So you got to speak this morning. How did it yes. go? It went very well. I was nervous, but I got up there. It's the first time doing any kind of speaking like that at all. What was it about? It was the Argon Good Morning panel. So just kind of talking about things you've been doing to help the lab be successful. You where you see the industry going, where you see it right now. 
Well, did they give you tricks. questions before you have to go up there? You did kind of oh, have good. questions beforehand, but then you hear the question again, and it's phrased just a little bit differently, and I'm like, is this the same question? Yeah. You, you had uh, Bennett moderating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bennett So he's moderating. a champ. Yeah, he's yeah. a pro. Yeah. So. Yeah. I felt very, very comfortable and... Yeah. So did you just stand up hands. and say, we hired 20 FN <laughs> people during a pandemic. What did you chumps do? <laughs> <laughs> I did share that because I think it's, it's everyone huge. is like, it's so hard to find people. And we say that every day. It's so hard to find people. But there's still people out there. Like, they're not all, you know, heavily experienced people. But if you're willing to train them and if they have the right work ethic and attitude. That's huge. We're very big on bringing in the right people to fit the culture. I, I think the big the biggest difference really is I was just trying to find people who maybe were manufacturing each type of people to yeah. get them into the model room yeah. or something. But Randy really, like, and that didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> I failed miserably. But Randy has gone out when she's been writing on social media is if anybody's interested in dental or uh, thought about a dental career, those are people that have stayed, come yeah, and stay. They stayed. just have a different mindset. They have that. They're, they have no idea what we're doing, but they know they want to do something with it. Yeah, so that's smart. Yeah. So how do you handpick the ones that are good that you feel that have that work ethic? Because a lot of times you can't tell from an interview. To be honest, the ones we've gotten who, like you said, are dental specific, it's just kind of gut, I guess. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't turn away people right now. So it's like as long as there's not any huge red flags. Yeah give it a shot if we get down the road and it's really not working it'll kind of show itself mm -hmm. but the bad word tattoo on the forehead the big no <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. that would be lovely yeah. <laughs> so do you give them a chance i mean just like yeah. everybody like let's get you in here yeah. let's give you a try yeah. and then yeah. do you take over the training no we let the individual like departments do the training okay so mm -hmm. when we when we bring someone in and for looking at hiring someone let's say in the model room or something we'll drop them off essentially in the model room on our tour and then let the model room people talk to them for five minutes as well and then I'll, like i'll just leave the room so if they want to say how much of a jerk i am yeah. or whatever, they, they yeah. can do that then and then basically then i'll give them the rest of the tour and when i let you know have a good day nice to meet you thanks for coming in then i'll go back to the model room people and be like what, what did you think, think? Yeah. Like, oh that's smart because yeah. they're the ones who are going to have to work with them so did you have a good vibe a bad vibe did they seem like they would be interested and excited to do this so i feel like it's been going really well with that yeah and the model room is obviously kind of the messiest loudest area oh, yeah. so it's like if you're in there and you're like i don't feel comfortable like yeah, that's you're not gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so it's work. like you have to at least know like you're gonna get dusty you're yeah. gonna have loud noises around you so. you guys still have a lot of model work or are you doing printed and traditional we do both. Yeah. yeah. But we do still have a lot of models coming in. Yeah. Yeah. I so mean, we have we. more doctors, you know, switching over. But I think, you know, you hear when you go to the courses here, they always talk about how everything gets adopted on the coasts and then comes, mm -hmm. in, you know, yeah. to the in Midwest. In Indiana, I agree. Yeah. So, <laughs> but that's that same thing, right? So, like, yep. and all of the people who work with us on the coast, they all have an Itero or a, a three shape, you know, whatever, yeah. some type of a scanner. And then now people around us are like, Maybe this digital thing is real. Yeah. Yeah. It's a slow it's, crawl, yeah, isn't it? It's amazing. I know so many labs on the coast, no models. Right. Haven't poured a model in five years. Yep. I'm like, what? Yeah. yeah. We wow. still do PFMs and full cast crowns out right. here in Indiana. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Whatever they need, right? Whatever yeah. you ask for, we'll mm -hmm. make it. That's yeah. amazing. So what department's growing the most or what product to add 20 20 people on is it mostly your zirconias or i mean ortho? we we did bring in ortho. ortho in 2019 and our splints are really taking off so we're now doing them 3d printed just as of like two or three months ago yeah and so the person who does our splints he basically had been doing them by hand for 30 oh, years man. or whatever and he was the one who was really pushing hard to get into it and the keystone soft material oh, here is great things it's about unbelievable it. like oh, yeah. it's the most closest thing that we've come across that mimic what he was doing by hand and you know designing in three shape everything's been fantastic cool yeah mm -hmm. awesome what printer are you guys using yeah we have three asigas yeah, yeah. <laughs> love the asigas and you love yeah. them oh absolutely the oh, yeah. the 4k is great for all the big models and everything but we just those those maxes just are crank oh they're just amazing. They're workhorses. They're workhorses. Yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, you were doing surgical guides, right, when we last talked? Yeah, so basically. still into that? 
big yeah, part of it? Picked up a office in the Madison area okay. that has seven oral surgeons in Holy it. Holy shmoly. And only three of them are sending. And it, thank That's goodness okay. because I couldn't keep, keep up, up if yeah. it was all seven. Wow. It's, like I have right now 24 waiting to be designed. Um, are you the only one doing them? Yeah. Oh, you're the one doing them. I'm, wow. I'm the guinea pig. No. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, so the the funny thing is is that, like, it's nice, you know, get, you get a crown and bridge case, and they want to know if they can have it, that zirconia tomorrow. But these guys are scheduling people out till May yeah. and stuff. So nice it's enough. you so have nice. time. So we yes. uh, isn't that a weird thing in this industry? You yeah. have time with but them. Are yes. you waiting to the last minute like most dental technicians? No. Well, <laughs> maybe. sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit. I do the same thing. Yeah. I just don't want to do that case. Right. Just wait. And yeah. then uh, oh, then you have the pressure, and you're like, all right, I'm going to do it. Today's mm-hmm. the day I have to do it. Same way. Awesome. I kind of like it every now and again. It keeps you it alive. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yep. So what are you guys looking for here at Lab Day? Anything exciting? Just I'm seeing and hearing from everyone. Yeah. Like just it's nice up to on see, stage. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, <laughs> seeing people here again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, more printable products for me personally. Yeah. It's fun to just see what everybody's doing with the mm-hmm. printer stuff, but then it's fun to see all the people again. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. It's it is, all actually. the reps yeah. and everything, and people are like, I think we can come out and talk now. Yeah. It's like, yeah, here we are. Yeah. We're all wider and heavier. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Have you seen this ginormous car oh, in here? I just talked to him about our, it. Yeah, size of our car. I yeah. actually have not. So <laughs> I don't know what it's you for do aligners. With it. Aligners. Oh. I was chatting with them previously. You could print human bodies <laughs> in there. I don't know. Aligners. <laughs> yeah. So you did the Ladies of the Mill Summit. Yes. With the speaker. Mm-hmm. How did that work with helping you today? Oh, it was fantastic. I had yeah. signed up for that before I knew, like, this Argon thing. Was oh, a really? Thing. So when they called and asked if I wanted to do it here in Chicago. It was before Tennessee, the summit, but I was like, well, I have to. Like, yeah. This is why I'm going to Tennessee. Yeah. It worked out really well, and, like, I can't say enough good things about that weekend. Oh, I know. Like, it just, it builds your confidence so much and makes it just, almost simplifies it, so you aren't as nervous and scared about it all. Nice. And That's the camaraderie you get from the people that, like, I haven't, I met one of the girls and obviously Jill before, but the other ones I never really, really? met. Really? You didn't so know them? Like, yeah. They're a great bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was fantastic. And the food looked amazing. I was, it was totally stalking all of you the whole weekend <laughs> on Facebook and stuff. Yeah, no, it was. I was great. like, why am I not there? That looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, Jill's mom did it all, and wow, it was just everyone got along. There was like no drama. Everyone's just like learning from each other. Did a little presentation at the end, and I thought it helped a lot. Did it help? Mm-hmm, yeah, that's for good. Sure. Got to get your power suit on wore power suits and I was like I don't know what a power suit is because I don't have power but, <laughs> but it was good what does that mean power suit bright colors big buttons what does that mean I just think something you're com- you feel Fire. confident oh. in. Yeah. yeah that would be my pajamas yeah exactly I'm like I'm a very sweatshirt relaxed and jeans, so. <laughs> that's awesome shorts that are old but we're we haven't heard about your presentation yet no, how that's did good you? that's good it's if I, we weren't in Oregon, we would definitely have been there. I appreciate there, so. that. I appreciate that. Every Everyone comes up and says, great job, you know, so you hope they're not lying. Did you feel good, though, when you I done? Did. Yeah. I did. Did yeah. you enjoy it? I did. I did. I felt pretty good You didn't find it. that positive test, huh? No. Oh. <laughs> I tried to fake a COVID <laughs> test to get out of it. I was like, oh, if I could find a building. positive test and show it to Chris, maybe he'll let me out of it. <laughs> You love it. I, you How know, did it come up? Like, were you like, yeah, I kind of want to start speaking and presenting? I wanted to. I have this weird thing where you can ask me to speak, and, and like, they asked me to speak in, in May, and I'm like, right, right on, cool. I don't get nervous until two hours before it. Yeah. I don't, I chill about it, don't think about it. Two hours before, I feel like I'm going to vomit, piss myself. <laughs> That's about how everybody And I start feels. shaking, <laughs> and it's terrible, and then the build up, and then I start. And then it goes, you know, sometimes better than others. And then as soon as I'm done, I'm like, when can we do it again? Oh, you got that rush. Yeah. Speaking rush. Well, but good for you. That That's two cool. hours before <laughs> was <Not> worse <laughs> two hours. <laughs> Why did I do this? I would get what out of I it thinking? any way that I could. <laughs> so do you recommend I look into start speaking? Yes. Oh, yeah. I've been I thinking do. about it. And after watching yeah. her, I mean, just I had so much pride watching her up there. She absolutely nailed it. She did, I, I was thinking that she would have a little bit of nerves, that many people, those, you know, she there, she just was flawless. Wait, that was like 70 you. people, right? Yeah. 
That's a big group. That's a huge year. That's more than I've ever heard. I've had like a tickle in my throat all weekend too, like not sick, but like there was one time where I had a cough and I'm like, there's a mic right here. How do I do <laughs> And she that? coughed right into it. Cough, super don't loud. Cough, don't <laughs> cough. <laughs> super loud. <laughs> and then I was in the middle of talking and I never really used my watch, but it all of a sudden did the thing like asking what I was saying. And I'm like, oh, that's great. <laughs> in the <laughs> middle of it, your Siri turned on? Yes. Yeah. Oops. That's hilarious. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> that's hilarious. You caught yourself right away. <laughs> That's I'm funny, sure everybody so. laughed and thought it was funny. I didn't cry and run off stage, <laughs> so that was good. Yeah, they put a door like to the exit like right next Just to me. Just in case I was like, I could <laughs> bail at any moment. <laughs> You should do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I find you just got to talk about what you know. Yeah. Don't so like somebody like that. Carmen could come to me and say, will you speak about 3D? I couldn't do it. Right. right. No, I don't care about it enough. That's a good point. But as long as you really care about something and, and you're passionate about it, it's easier. Yeah. That's and that great was advice. actually like kind of the point of Ladies of the Mill. It's like just talk about what you know and it just comes so naturally. Yeah. Yeah. I don't agree. accept a speaker gig if you're not into it. Yeah. yeah. Just agree. to be up that's there. A really, that's a really good yeah. call. Yeah. So hopefully they want to talk about food. There you go. <laughs> Music. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about Elvis the singer? I got some knowledge. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Great to see you guys. Good to yeah. see you guys yeah. as well. Thank awesome you. to be here. Thank you guys for doing you. this. Yeah. And absolutely. all the podcasts and all the memes because I really memes, enjoy yeah. the memes. The memes yeah. are my favorite part They're of my day. They're fabulous. Yeah. By far. They're famous, actually. I have actually. more people come up to me yeah. to talk about the memes than they do. The, and I'm always like, you know we have a podcast, <laughs> too, right? <laughs> Those take a few minutes. The podcast <laughs> takes some work. Go <laughs> listen to the podcast. Are you accepting ideas for memes? And Absolutely. Stuff? I all get right. them all the well, time. Well, now that I have your phone number, you're going to get oh, them. No, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But be warned, sometimes I get these pictures, and they go on my phone. My phone is nothing but memes. Sure. And I'll, I'll like, oh, I need one today, and I'll just start scrolling. I'll find a picture from five months ago, yeah. and it'll just click. And all of a sudden, I'll use it. That's so. awesome. So I think good. we need to do shirts with the memes. Yes, I, that's what I was <laughs> Untapped. Or, this is an yeah, untapped like market. I actually had ones. somebody yeah. offer to do a book of them. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. But I don't own the rights to any of those pictures. I just uh. stole other memes. <laughs> and, and change turn, the words. And turn, change the words. Yep. Some of them, here's a secret, some of them are extremely offensive. <laughs> Like, and you read them, you're like, there's no way I would associate myself with this, but I'll put some dental words on top right. of it, you know? And then it makes sense. Yes. <laughs> if you saw the original, you wouldn't Not like so me. Much. <laughs> I'm, like, friends on Facebook with some of our dentists, so there are some that I am dying laughing about, but I can't click the like button because it's like, yeah. that is that dentist to a T, and I don't want them to yeah. see that. Yeah. Like, is that what my lab guy thinks of me? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. not at all. <laughs> the one where it was the guy marching into the office, like, telling me that yes. you can't find your case. It literally happened to us that day, and I was just oh, like, oh, my We were God. crying laughing <laughs> so hard. It was just perfect. The guy opens the door all <laughs> <Yeah. angry. laughs> He's huge. <Yeah. laughs> Well, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming back by. We should do this every year. Yes. I agree. We will, actually. Let's every, do it every year. Hopefully next year we have uh, some fun information to share. You'll probably have 30 more people. 20 more people. <laughs> We're looking at buying a building. So oh. oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Still really early in the process. Don't know where it would be or whatever, but our lease is up in July Are of 2023. in there? Yeah, we have like 7,500 square feet. We run yeah. into people around corners. Yeah. They were like having to look at putting up those mirror things. So like when people g- are going around a hallway. That they don't they can, run they, into yeah, yes. a little That's curved. how you know you've. That's You've there. overgrown. Yes. You're, you're outgrown yes. your building. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. Good luck to you too. So thank hopefully you. Fantastic. Man. Hopefully we'll have some news on that. I bet you the lab is a pain in the <laughs> 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 Yeah. It is going to be hard. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, thank you guys. guys. I sound loud. Hello. Am I loud? You're loud. Oh, I am turned up a little you're tall. bit. You're tall and you're a pain in the ass, but that's all right. Awesome. How do you say your name? Lorraine? L- Lorraine. Lorraine. You better remember From Aruba. that. Yeah. Lorraine. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think I could do that, yes. did you? Yes, I did, I did. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Here we are, the first day at LMT Lab Day Chicago, live at the Preet booth. We are talking with Lorraine. Lorraine. What's your last name? Flores. Flores. That's easy, too. Loren yes. Flores. He Loren gets them Flores. wrong, so. 
So uh, I believe Janelle from the Denture yes. Babes has been hyping you to me, yes. saying you needed to come on this. Yes, I really have to say it's a pleasure to be here with both of you. Nice meeting you both. I've been listening to your podcast from Aruba several times, oh, cool. listened to several episodes, and Janelle was the one telling me, hey, you know what, you need to be on the podcast. I was like, but why? She's like, fun fact, I am the only female lab owner in Aruba. Congratulations. So that's why like, you need to Out be on the podcast. Out of how many labs? So nine. Power female. You're so kidding me. So there's nine me. labs in the whole country? There are nine labs on the island of on Aruba. Island, yeah. Wow. And I am the only female that owns and operates a lab in Aruba. So how did wow. you get into it? Well, actually, I started studying dentistry at first, but my grandfather was one of the first dental technicians back on the island. Oh, so it's a hereditary yes. thing. I love that. Yes, but I didn't wow. get to meet my grandfather because he passed away before I even was born. So yeah. the only thing that I have from him is a framework, metal framework wow. that I have from him, and that inspired me because I couldn't finish the dentistry. I went to Florida to do the dental technology. Good for you. Oh, yes. where in Florida? Was it on the East Coast? I was at Indian River State yep, College. that's exactly what yes. I thought it was. Awesome. So you came to Florida to learn the craft? Yes. I started in Costa Rica to study dentistry. But because of financial issues, we couldn't afford for me to finish the dentistry. And then I went to Florida to do dental technology. Okay, so... So you, ra- you rounded up, just saying. Yes. <laughs> for all those dental technicians listening yes, yes, to us. Yes, yes, yes. Where is Definitely. Aruba associated with... Aruba. Where is it in location to Costa Rica and, and Florida? I'm really... I'm not... Well, it's, it's really far Indiana, away. He's from Indiana, so yes. So yeah, Aruba is an island. You have Aruba, yep. Bonaire, and Curacao. Aruba is the island near the coast of Venezuela. But oh, we Venezuela, actually yeah. have yeah. some alliance and some belongings with the Netherlands. So we have European passport Interesting. and wow. Dutch nationality. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Sweet. So when you opened up your lab, it, it's, let's hear it's, the story. Let's it's hear this long, story. It's a long story. So my grandfather was one of the first dental technicians back in Aruba. I didn't get to meet him. And I was like, oh, I want to be a dentist. So I studied dentistry in Costa Rica for two and a half years. Couldn't finish it due to financial reasons. And my parents were telling me, you know what? Um, we're going to do whatever we can so you can still finish your school. Yeah. I'm like, you know, mom, because I got a loan from the government of Aruba and I only had a certain amount left. And ah. then I was researching and I found out that I could, with that amount, I could have finished the dental technology back in Florida. So we, I went back to Florida to finish my degree, and then I didn't have any loans. I went back to Aruba, started working in several other fields. I worked with a wow. dentist. I worked with an orthodontist. I even worked in administration from another restaurant. So I learned everything just a little bit more. Yeah. And even attended AEO meetings in New Orleans and Philadelphia with the orthodontist. So I know everything a little bit more. Good for you. And then I started to build up the lab. I got a chance with a dentist to build up the lab. In his office? In his office. I was an in-lab office. I wanted to get out. I wanted to be on myself. So we ended the contract. Yeah, yeah I and bet then you I were just, like, see ya. Yeah, so <laughs> that's it. In so many ways. Yes, and then um, um, my father was the one pushing me. He said, you know what? You can put the lab at the house. You should yeah. do that. I want to work with you. I want to see you grow. I'm like, okay, that. So uh, I took out a loan. It was a hard step because no one wants to get in more depth than they already are. Yeah. And uh, I so took what'd out the loan. So what did you buy? I bought all the basic equipment that I needed to start for removable Okay. So the only thing that I'm doing now is removable and orthodontics okay. for three dentists that I'm really working for. I cannot afford to work for more dentists because it's a work overload that I cannot I handle. Don't overdo yourself. Yes. Is it you and your dad? My dad is the one who drives. He picks up all oh, the work cool. for me and delivers everything for me. So it's that's very awesome. nice to have him finally like working with me. And it, in general, it's very nice to be the only female lab owner in the room. Seriously. Yeah. I'm all about women power. That yes. is so cool. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's amazing. What is it like getting product and stuff there? Is it easy or is it pretty? I have to order everything. Yeah. Some of my products, I get them from Colombia. And most of my products, I get it from the States. Okay. So I have to ship them back to Aruba and pay the custom and import duties. So at the time that I get most of my things, it's a little bit more expensive 
that yeah. you think. Yeah. So. yeah, but your prices probably reflect that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Wait, is competition between the nine labs? Is it hard? Of or? course, of course. There's always it's competition. It's a little island, right? It's, it's a little small. island. It's pretty small. And we have all the labs that are trying to give out the same products all the time. Yeah. Luckily, I got certified for the TCS. So oh, I'm the one go. certified oh, awesome. for the TCS. That gives me an advantage. And now... The only just, one? Yes. Wow. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Thank you. Nice. Good call. And now um, I just took the course with Nina. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's, that's the next step you. that I'm implementing and trying to see what else I can get here from the LMT Dill Update to include in my work. Uh, that was what I was going to ask you. So you got here today or yesterday? No, I got here Tuesday. Wow. But because of the flight from Aruba to Chicago... We had to stop by at Miami and from Miami to Chicago. Yeah. By the time I got here, it was already 11.30, almost 12 at midnight. Yeah. Mm. So what did so. you do on Wednesday? Relax because I my luggage didn't say. get okay. here. <laughs> Your luggage didn't my get luggage here? My luggage didn't get here, so we were stuck without the luggage so for a few hours. Shopping? Just okay. a little bit of shopping. <laughs> and I, we got the luggage yet but around 4 o'clock. Yeah. Wow. Nice. I'm Do you come to Lab time. Day? Is this your first time? This is my first time. I'm actually yeah. really excited. I've been trying to get here since oh, I graduated. Great. It was 11 years ago. I've been wow. trying every time. There's always something not letting me to be here, but I'm so glad to be here this time. Good for yeah. you. You're going to come back every year, I bet. I, it's I know, for sure. It's the most amazing meeting. For so sure. much going on. Elvis is speaking. When are you speaking? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, 9.45 a.m. Mm-hmm. I'll be there. Uh-oh. Aww. I registered. I will, too. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm s- that's still out for debate. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Any well, other not, questions? No, I'm not done. Oh, I'm not I didn't done. think so. Ah, I, did. I was looking at looking for a. Yeah. I know. I know that Chanel told He's you a few things done. about me, so I'm, I'm wondering what oh, you're going to ask yeah. me. Well, yeah. she Here didn't we tell me a whole lot, other than okay. you just had an interesting story. Yeah. What you do? That's what she for told sure. me. But I wanted to know: Are you digital at all now? Or? I'm trying to go digital, so that's why I'm. Seeking out the best way to do it, to transfer from analog to digital and to incorporate it and maybe yeah. even start outsourcing because I have a friend who's in New Zealand mm. and she just started talking to me. She's like, hey, how, what can we do together? So I'm trying to seek out the best information that I can so I can meet up with her cool. and see what else that I is, can do. That's some insane distance of yeah. outsourcing. Yes. Wowzer. Yes. So you don't have any sort of design software yet. You're no. completely open to I'm just to looking whatever. for the best and what fits my laboratory for now. What are you leaning towards right now? Anything? Well, I want to go more into the flexibles, mastering that part more, and applying everything that I learned now from Nina into my work and orthodontics. Hmm. Can you do composites on flexibles? We're going to try. Yeah, why not? Why not? Give it a shot. Yeah. What's it like being one person with three clients? Are you do you have long crazy hours or do you kind of Sometimes I do, I cannot lie. It the thing is that in the morning I do a radio show back in Aruba. So I wake cool. up from 7 to 9 in the morning. I do the radio show and after that I start working in the lab. So you my do a days radio are the, show? Are you famous? <laughs> I think you're famous. I don't know. I don't consider myself famous, but the program is very famous. <laughs> oh, what sort great. of what radio show? What's what it it called? It's called the Morning Show at the Cool FM 98.9. It's from Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and all we talk is funny things. We give information about you, what you need to know, what you might want to know, but most of the things are funny things to cheer up the person's day before they start working. So it's a com- all talk. It's not music. Talk and music. A music. Okay. Talk what kind music. of music? Whatever's on at that moment. Whatever big hit is on the okay. billboards, yeah. Yeah. we'll play so it. So she's actually oh. like a radio show hostess, like yeah. literally. We probably look <laughs> like <laughs> amateurs. That's cool. No wonder your voice is so amazing. Uh, thank known. you. Thank you. So yeah. did you do that before dental or? Radio. I started radio back when I was a kid with my aunt that passed away already. She had a radio program for kids that was wow. called Pumpulunchi in town. Pumpulunchi so, in town. T- and town. It's, it's a name for kid stuff. Yeah. And it was on every Saturday morning from 9 to 11. And I started going with her back then. I was five, six. Yeah. I started going and I started seeing how she was talking on the radio and why she did it. After a few years, I got a chance with another radio program. There was all teenagers. I worked with them for oh, wow. a year and a half, too. Wow. I went to study abroad, and when I came back to the island, I got an opportunity at another radio station in Aruba. 
and I had a morning show with another friend of mine. We, that show was from 6 in the morning till 8 in the morning, wow. from Monday to Friday. Yeah, and that's early. That's early. Yes. Three years ago, we decided to stop with the program because we were both growing in our professional sure. ways a little bit more. And she started her own business, and she went back to school to study some more things. She needed more time, and my business started growing as well. So that's why I needed more time. It's like, okay, we'll stop. Yeah, yeah. And then the other radio station called and said, hey, you know what? There's a spot opening. Can you come? Like, okay, I'll sure. I'll just come and help you out for two weeks. Uh, yeah, now. It's and, and it's been long? three years after I'm still there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was going to tell her. I'm like, just put these on and adjust yeah, the you're display. Right. <laughs> and she's like, I got this. <laughs> yes, I'm yes. going to record now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that's live, right? Yes, it's live. <laughs> it's live. And people can watch us live, too, in the studio. Oh, so nice. every morning I have to make sure that I yeah. don't have a sleepy face on so they don't see my sleepy face. Yeah, you got to roll oh, in wow. looking good. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's no fun. I'm sure that's not hard for you. Sometimes I want to go in the PJs. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet. Can anybody see that online? Is it like? Well, they only see the top part. Well, yeah. Boobs up. Boobs up. Boobs up, yeah. That's but still, your say. face has to be a little representable. But sometimes I go without makeup. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I love your teeth. Yes. Pretty teeth. Thank you. <laughs> see, we're doing, we're finally doing live, so we get to see each other. It's you been know, a while really since you nice. haven't done lives, right? Yeah. It's been, it's a, been, a, it's been while. a while. Yeah. It's good to be back. It's yeah. good to be back. Don't yeah. you find it weird to see people again? To see a lot of people again? I, d- I expected to see as many as I'm seeing. It's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. 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 I, last I heard is they had 1,500 people pick up their badge, so... And that's not even tomorrow. Tomorrow's that's not tomorrow. a big day. Tomorrow so. will be bigger. Yeah. So hopefully Good the numbers them. will be big. Yeah. And yeah. I heard on the way here in the cab that they were getting rid of the mask mandate. On Monday. I know. Really? Yes. The oh. vaccine and mask so mandate. So I told the cab, dude, Monday. I'm taking my mask off. And he's oh. like, I said, I'm from Florida. He said, that's all right. You can do it. And I'm like, Shh. two days too soon. But hey. Yeah. You just incriminated It is a little <laughs> awkward wearing my mask the whole time because I am from Florida. So, yeah. You know. Nobody does. What's it like in Aruba? In Aruba, they lifted already all the oh, mandates good. for the masks. Yeah. It's optional. And of course, they give you the recommendation if you want to have distance, remember to wash your hands. But the good thing is a lot of people in Aruba are already vaccinated. Yeah. Good. Even the first and the second. And almost most of them that already took the first and the second already took the third. Yeah. So we're ready. And the fifth and the sixth. Prepare your arms. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Did the pandemic affect your business a lot? Actually, I learned throughout this pandemic that you need to be on top of the game all the time. You need to be prepared. You need to not, it's not only because something is not going well. You need to just sit there and, oh, my God, it's not. you need to seek opportunities. Yeah. I got to say thanks to the pandemic. I know it sounds bad, but I thanks to the pandemic, I got TCS that started giving out free lectures and webinars that I got into the Flexible. And now my biggest selling product is the Flexible. And you didn't even consider doing that Before. until you had some downtime during the pandemic. I wanted, but I didn't have the time for it. Yeah. That's but awesome. thanks to the pandemic, it yeah. got slow and I got the time to study and got more out of it. And throughout the pandemic, I met Janelle online through yep. Instagram. So shout out to Venture Babes and Janelle. Yeah. Is that you what so that much. is? Yes. Where did you guys get that? Are they at here? At their booth. Okay. They're at their at booth. booth. All right. I got to go and check that out. And this is Nina's. I was going to ask. Okay. I was told to give these out. Yeah. <laughs> VentureBabes.com. <laughs> you should shout definitely out. check them out. Yeah, they gave yeah, me stickers. That's they cool. said, make sure you hand so those out at your booth. I was like, I'm all right. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to take one. Yes, ma'am. What's your lab working on now? What, flexibles. What's next? I want to start doing the composite on the flexibles. I'm trying to seek some other things. Yeah. Planning on some other things. I got an other request. Hmm. Sometimes I get other requests. And I'm like, okay, we'll what see if this? it works. My cousin actually asked me, she's like, can you do the flexible part and just put a wire outside so it can be like a holly retainer? I'm like, oh, I've never done that. interesting. But flexible holly retainers? That like yeah, I'm like, but... What do you want to do with it? It's like, no, because the flexible, it's thinner. Like, yes, it's thinner, but will it really work? I don't know. 
Yeah, that holly so, retainers are supposed to be rigid. Yes. Yeah, interesting. So sometimes I get odd requests. Yeah, I'll from family members. From family members. Yeah. That's kind of interesting, though. Yes. I bet you go. I bet eventually you go for I'm gonna it. I'm going to try it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that, that little thing inside your head, you're like, you know yeah. what, damn it, I'm going to do that. I know I have beautiful <laughs> pink composite on yeah. it. <laughs> It'll yeah. be the best looking holly retainer yeah. ever. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll try. I'm definitely all, almost all, every time trying to seek out new things or trying to do something new yep. something to make the laboratory stand out more than the others so yeah wow well you have such a small market but yet a tight competition yes it is mm -hmm. it is do the labs ever get together yes we have an association oh really for all dental technicians awesome. we have a regulation that we said okay this is the basic price that everyone needs to charge so the market can stay in a room everybody just agrees to it yes that's we did smart. but awesome. yeah. everyone is allowed to either raise or lower their price just a little bit but not let's say um if it's worth a hundred dollars you're not gonna charge $75. Yeah. You can charge at minimum 95 or 90 So wow. we have a small margin. So to keep it equal between all the labs, and what stands out is the way that each lab works. Hmm. It's the quality of the product that you deliver. That's insane to an American other, concept. That. Yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. Yes, it And is. who sets those prices? Uh, the the group? association. Are you part of the association? Yes, I am. Are you the president of the association? No, Let's I'm just honest. part of it. I'm the only <laughs> female that sits in between them. So you have more female technicians back in Aruba, but they really? work with the other labs. But as owners, I'm, yeah. I'm the only one in the board that is allowed to give out. Express your opinion. So what's the, what's the biggest size lab there? For how many people, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah technician-wise. There's one that has about four people working in. But most of them so have two small. or three yeah. Or like wow. me, just one person. <laughs> wow, had no idea. It's a small island, so everything's down. Do you have an idea of how many dentists are on the island? I could say right about 40. So does most of the work to these nine labs come from the island or from off the island? On the island. On the island. Most of them is on the island. That was a blonde moment. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. That was not a question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nine labs and 40 doctors. It just yeah. seems like the math is there. But there's only one there. and two people in them. So I guess. Which, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to rag on you for a minute. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Yeah. For thank you for, for having me. Where are you going me. from here? What are you doing the rest of the day? I want to see some more seminars, listen to some more seminars. I'll definitely listen to you tomorrow yeah. morning. I'll be there. And trying to seek out what I'm trying to look for yeah. awesome. to finish up my lab day. But I'm really happy to be here. Yeah. yeah. You go it's home awesome. Sunday? No. Monday? March 1st. <gasps> Good for you. Yeah. i never seen snow. Good for you. So my biggest wish was to see snow. When I landed, it started snowing. Yeah. And I've never That's been in such a cold place. And for me, this is all exciting. Me Yesterday, too. I went walking in the snow. Yeah. And my That's how like, I am, too. Crazy. I'm from Florida, so I, I come here and I just love it. I, love I know. The snow. And you had this this cold temperature this year at Florida, I know. right? It was 85 when I left, though. Yeah. But it was darn cold this whole year, last three months, like colder than ever. Your Arctic wind. Yep. Yeah. yeah, ours is 40, yours is minus seven. 40. <laughs> <laughs> you people in your warm weather. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Aruba's warm. Your luck. Yeah. The entire year, year round, beautiful beaches. Yeah. I have sunny always weather. wanted to go there. You should come Seriously. visit me. Always. Just I'm let me give know you when my, you're. My information. Yes. I've always wanted to go to Aruba. Yeah. Like since I was like 10. Seriously. Really? And I've never done it. Because there's like great snorkeling yes. and just really neat. Just. Mm. It's a beautiful island. Remember that we can understand you totally. <laughs> Everyone that's in Aruba speaks most of the time four languages, so wow. we can understand you no matter what. Cool. What four languages do you speak? I speak Papiamento. That's the language from Aruba. English, Spanish, and Dutch. Wow. What? Yes. There's that's no insane. limit to what she can do. I could barely speak English. <laughs> yes. So that's why I could have studied in Costa Rica in Spanish and then translate oh, yeah. to the States and study in English. The good part is I sometimes I take a little bit of time to say something because I'm thinking it in Papiamento and then it's like, oh, no, I need to say it in English. Yeah. Oh, no, I need to say it in Spanish. Oh, no, I need to say it in Dutch. I don't know. Your English is b better than most here. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. <laughs> That's I mean, to the years I spend in Florida. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bingo.
Awesome. Right. Well, thank thank you. you so much. Thank you. I have we a little gift it. for both of you from what? Aruba. Oh, yeah. Wow. A gift? Yes. This is Aruba's hand sanitizer made with aloe. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh. And you can have a smell of the Caribbean with oh, it. I'm going to. It smells? Thank you. What's it smell like? Oh, Heaven. Oh, it does smell nice. Yes. Relaxation. It, it smell smells like, like relaxation. Oh, that's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you oh, and so it's got much. your dental lab on yeah. it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, so it's Bio Dental Lab. Bio Dental Lab. So you awesome. can look it up. Bio Dental Lab. You're welcome to follow me. I will. I don't post that much. I'm going to try to post more. Chanel is that's having because me you're on working. my neck. <laughs> yes, three I'm always jobs. Busy. <laughs> Two always jobs. busy. So sometimes these people that post, you start to wonder how much they actually work. I oh. actually wonder how they manage to do everything. I know there's a lot of applications now that you can schedule yeah. your work, so I'm thinking of doing that. Yeah. You gotta get You're organized. Need to yeah, so I can get yeah. more more content online. Yep. Yeah, that's what it's all about these days. Yes, it and is. And it says smile, life is beautiful. I love that. That's yes. great. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you thank so you much so for much. having me. Here we are. <laughs> Hi. Day. Oh, I want to get in. Two. Here we go. Day Here two of LMT Lab Day Chicago. I'll just go around oh, you. From the breed booth. All right. Me, me, me. Picture time. Here we go. <laughs> Can you see me? There yes. we go. What's up, Shorty? <laughs> We are at the pre-booth. We're talking to name tags, please. Oh, I've right, oh, Jennifer Calherd, Ashley Johnson. Ashley. That's easy. Yes. Yes. Yeah, come on. <laughs> How are you, ladies? We are great. How are you? Fantastic. How's the show going? It's been great. We've been through. We went through the other side a little bit. The so. East Exhibit Hall. Yes. yes. Is this the better Exhibit Hall? This is the better Exhibit yeah, Hall. It yeah, it is. Bingo. <laughs> cool yeah, Exhibit it Hall. It's where all the cool people are. Yeah. So, how long have you been here? You've been here all the whole weekend. Yes. Yeah, we got here. Well, I got here Thursday night. Yeah. But yeah. it's been it's been fun. It's been really cold. It it's been <laughs> really. I know it was snowing yeah, yesterday. It was so cold. Oh yeah. Oh, I You're love out it. of Virginia. Virginia gets cold. Yeah. yeah it gets, eh. It's all right. I'm Not from Colorado, cool. so I'm kind of disappointed in myself. She's got no reason to complain. I'm from Texas. I'm the one dying. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So how do you guys know each other? College. Uh, college. Really? Yeah, we, we went to college in Texas. So. At a dental technology school? For, no, for, music, for education. music education. You're what? kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so how's that degree oh. working out? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great. Great. She works yeah. in the dental industry, and I work in the security business <laughs> now. Yeah, that's great. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. But you're in a dental meeting, so you yeah. must like it. Yeah. 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 It's just it's just weird enough to be fun. That's you know? right. Yes. That's yes. exactly <laughs> what it is. She's trying to convince me to go work with her for a couple times, and she's like, I need someone to book things. I need someone reliable. Come on. So, Ashley, right? <laughs> yeah. You're not in the industry at all? No. Security industry. Security. And security. Yeah. So what do you think of all of us? Um, <laughs> I mean... I'm a nerd, so it's good. I love finding new niches. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Do you go to security conventions? Uh, I haven't yet. Oh, no. I was just going to ask you to compare. See yeah. If you're, um, I feel like, fun. well, I feel like they're a lot more serious, at least people I work with. We're I serious. Guess you have to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're nothing but business here. But oh, it's no. so, we I mean, out serious and, and not drink. a fun way. This yeah. is a fun. This has been fun. People yeah. do drink at this yeah. meeting. Yeah, yeah, she I even said, that. let's just sit here long enough and oh, watch yeah. all these it's like, business great. guys. It's been great. No, it's Yeah, the great. guys next to us were dropping their bottles. Mm. And yeah. Yeah, 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 we were in fair. bed, though. I didn't go last not night. We. I was a good girl. Did you? No. I'm just saying there's no we there. I was in my own bed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. That wasn't my intention. We just... We killed the hopes in all of it's our okay. listeners. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, people wanted to know. You just crashed the dreams. Not at all. No. Not at all. No, <laughs> we're, bar- we're partners, and uh, yeah, that's, that's better it. anyway. And that's we like better, it. Yeah. I've been telling everyone that I'm just her arm candy for the weekend. Oh, oh yeah, oh, man. Nice. I mean, she can't leave me alone. We got, no way. got hit on by like, the white boy sales guys that yeah. come through here. They'd slide up. In. As soon as she'd leave. I'd left. Hey. I was like, it's all right. Just be your date for the weekend. That's how I do all my sales. That's right. Yeah, do you know? Hey, what? That's okay. We scared some of you later on. Yeah, she's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jennifer, what about you? So, yeah. Uh, tell us all about you. Well, so I went to music school and did dental lab on the side to pay for it. And then just, I mean, it pays better. It's more fun. I don't like kids. And I yeah. don't like teaching. So, <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> so, Way now I work at down. the College of Dentistry. Wow. But, no, I work for VCU in Richmond. But I am the, like, the denture lab tech. So at, at a dental school? At a dental school. That's cool. 
So one of the a whole bunch of baby dentists have to come in and do like a, they have to do a wax up and a, and a like a full denture from start to finish. And then uh, once they've excelled and proven themselves, then I get to do their continuing lab work. So they do one. So wow. They do one. How and do they do? You have to do all the other ones. <laughs> yes. What's the yes. point of that? Feel Just so they shit. understand it? I think so. I mean, I've worked with dentists who say, oh, yeah, I only had to set up one denture in dental school. And I thought, yeah, it shows. But, <laughs> but, but I mean, it's, it's fun. It's nice. I get to help people and teach them how to start up. And some of them are actually really, you know, thankful for it. And it is. It's nice. It's nice cool. to pass knowledge down yeah okay. yeah and and most of them are great i mean i, I really they everyone says oh, it's, you gotta watch out for students man they're crazy and they're fine yeah, yeah. it's all the doctors man yeah <laughs> it is all the doctors. so what is there like the students and then there's faculty there's students yeah and then the the faculty are all the dentists who they have a clinic so they they do a lot of work for people in richmond and so you then, see live patients yeah. that go to the school yes. to get work. Yes, and then it all comes downstairs to the lab. And, and we, how many people are in the lab? It's just me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Wow. Yeah, we're hiring. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Hey, throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. So you must like it because yeah, I'm I keep sure trying you're to working tell her long hours. Yeah. So. yeah, well, they. yeah, I work. Uh, it's just it's so it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. So I'm trying Sounds to like like no lot. panic sweats, but... <laughs> How did but you get away <laughs> to come here? Did you have to, just, like, work twice? I and told them. I said, I'm coming. You better plan for me to not be Good there. For you. And then they even <laughs> called they even called and said, are you downstairs for a repair? Oh. No, like, I'm no, on the I'm freaking, freaking I'm on Chicago. a plane, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, so, well, good for you. But it's okay, yeah. yeah. But it's fun. I mean, it, it is nice. I get to be in charge, and it's it's good. It's like it's not a it's not a power trip, but it's good for my ego because yeah. you know you're a lot it. of lab jobs people like a lot of jobs their retention is you're not good you're crap oh you'll never do anything and you're so it's nice to have a job where they actually appreciate, appreciate me yeah. so it's been it's been fun. So do you just removable or do you do fix? Yes, too? they do everything, but I'm just the removable person. There's a whole CAD CAM digital department. There's the wow. crown and bridge, but how many are in there that department? They've got. Two lab techs and a whole bunch of assistants and a and you're by of yourself. <laughs> yeah, I don't seem right, <laughs> but she's happy by herself. I do. Though, well, so I mean, it. I'd rather have I'd rather have me and reliable people than a bunch of you know. So I'm willing to wait for the right person. Yeah. So you're going to do the hiring, or you ask for an assistant? Oh, I have no power at all. Oh, yeah. I'm just kind of along for. I just <laughs> complain. But you're going to try them like, out. I bet people. Yeah, but no, it is fun though. It is. I feel like it's a good. It's a good job. It's a school. There's job security. So, I mean, there's a lot of young doctors there, which is nice because usually I'm used to dealing with. Them. I'm used to dealing with older doctors that don't get my humor. Yeah. They're like, ugh. <laughs> so I like the younger guys because they're like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You're funny. I'm like, yeah, I it am. Helps. I'm freaking underappreciated. <laughs> so <laughs> so what are you guys doing here? Did you go to a clinic or seminar? Uh, well, or? I wanted to go to the Denture Babe Clinic. That was the only one I signed up for, and it was canceled. Yeah. But wow. So we're just here to kind of browse. Peruse. And, <laughs> yeah, her husband is, he wants goodies, so we're trying to get him, we got him like a lanyard and a, and like a koozie for his beer. Yeah, so he'll be happy. We're all there, secretary, let's get all the information. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think we got him some mini printed teeth from the Renfort booth. He'll oh, love that. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Husband slash child. Yeah. They all like that stuff. Like free yep. stuff. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been fun. We've been having fun. I think we're going to, yeah. we'll go out and see some sights, but. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, for tomorrow. it's our first lab day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's been nice. So yeah. happy stay to be until here. tomorrow. Yes. Yep. So you're going we'll out tomorrow. tonight. Maybe. Potentially. Yes. <laughs> we might stay in here. I don't know. Yeah, we'll I don't know. know. It's cold out there. It's it is very cold. cold. Yeah. Cold. I'm not used and to this windy. weather. Yeah, from Florida. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm not into it. You have not been drawn into the dental lab industry yet. I'm trying not, to get her. Not yet. Come She's on. been trying. See that <laughs> this meeting, you will. See that 3D printer the size of my car? It's really. No, no, it no is. It's, it's cool. It, it is. is. It's, it's the size so of my Fiat. Uh, it, it is, is. literally. <laughs> yeah. It's a new Just carbon printer, Just turn it on its side. Right? There that it is. is. nuts. Yeah. Oh. But if anything, it should get See. you excited about our industry. Yeah, How right? Cool Come on, man. It is cool. I'm not going to lie. I like all the stuff, like all the like the molds. Like, man, I want to play with that. Right? <laughs> that's what it's like, arts and crafts every yeah, day. Yeah, that's day. what I'm saying. Right? It's like, it's uh-huh. cool. I've been having fun. <laughs> Do you is the Virginia leave? school going digital They so they removable? They, they're trying to. Yeah. So they have a new dean coming in. Oh. So I I think everyone's kind of waiting to see which way he's going to go. I'm, 
I mean, I'd like to see digital because, I mean, this whole place, everyone's got something digital. Except for it's you. It's great, except yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> except for me. It's coming. Yeah, I bet well, they will. Yeah. No, it is. There, it's, it's nice to see, though. I mean, because all, all the old doctors talk about how, oh, it's not going to be. Oh, my God. And all the young guys here. are like, let's go. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but you're, so. you're excited for it, though. I am. That's I'm good. excited for digital. I think it'll be great. Yeah, yeah. I want to learn more and do more. And it's also pretty. And yeah. Like, I mean. Have you ever ran a 3D printer? Yes. I yeah. worked with Zircon Zon for a while. Oh, in, did you? In Denver. Nice. And it was oh. fun. Yeah, and it's great on your carpal tunnel because it doesn't bother. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I bet. Like, yeah, it's so, it's so much better on your hands. So I'm down yeah. for it. That's yeah. awesome. Oh, cool. No chemical. Well, that's not true. A it's bit. a whole other different yeah. type of chemical. Yeah. I worked with a lady that got rashes from the resins. Really? Oh, really? She had to wear gloves that were above her elbow oh. every time yeah. she played with it. I get an eye poofiness from the monomer, so I'm ready yeah. for it. I'll try anything. Yeah, it might not, <laughs> might not be the same. Yeah. yeah, resin or monomer. Yeah, we'll see. we got to give Denture Babes a shout out. you got a really oh, yeah. cool sweatshirt Yeah, on. I got their sweatshirt. You got, got notified with that in the airport, too, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. It's, it's oh, a yeah, black I got, sweatshirt I got, with oh, white yeah. interior. There was a guy in the well, airport. The back says tooth creep. Yeah, the back says oh, tooth yeah. creep. There was someone in the airport following me going, tooth creep. What? Dude, are you serious? And I was, <laughs> That's and I weird. Finally, I turned around and he weird. said, <laughs> "Where are you? Are you a creepy tooth person?" Uh, I said, "I'm. I make dentures." I should have said, <laughs> "And he Fuck said, off. Well, I collect. I collect my son's teeth in oh, a jar." So and I said, "So you're a real <laughs> creep." <laughs> like, get the. So you're just your wife here. Do what you want, Get away from me. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm like I'm never. I'm not wearing this yeah. to the airport again. <laughs> Freaking weird people. I need, I need a chaperone wow. when I go up. People forgotten how to act. That's where you come in. Right? Yeah. Security. Security. We're going, we're going yeah. to the airport tomorrow it's together. My bouncer. <laughs> Don't mess with my girl. That'll be great. That's right. <laughs> She'll bounce you. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so well, much. No problem. You. Thanks yeah. for having me on. Absolutely. It was great. It was great. Okay. Great to meet both of you. Yeah. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, we yeah, will. Yeah, thank we will. you. Absolutely. We're going to go thank check you. out some more fun stuff. Did you know that most InLab MCX5 users that have ordered burrs from Grow3x once keep on ordering Grow3x burrs over and over again? No way. You know what? I didn't know that. Why do you think that is, Elvis? Well, I think it's because Grow3x burrs are engineered by some of the same folks who have been providing burrs to some of the largest U.S. production labs for years. Did you also know that most roll-ins and DG Shape users have no idea what they are missing out on? Well, I think I can guess what they're missing out on. You are right. Most Roland and DG Shape users have absolutely no idea how good and great Grow3x burrs are because they think that the Grow3x burrs are only for the in-lab systems. Well, they are wrong. wrong. <laughs> to give Roland and DG Shape users the opportunity to find out for themselves how great the burrs are for their machines... Grow3x is now offering a buy three, get two burrs free special. This is exclusively for Voices from the Bench listeners, you guys, so please go support them. So all you simply have to do is go to the Grow3x website. That's grow3x.com, click on burrs, then select Roland and DG Shape, add five burrs of your choice to your cart, click on checkout, enter the discount code, B3G2. That is B as in boy, the number three, G as in girl, the number two, burrs, and check out. That's awesome. You know what? We actually have a code, Elvis. Boom. That was easy, guys. Go for it. Free burrs. Use them and use them well. And we appreciate your support of the podcast, Grow3x. Thank you. Super big thanks to everybody who came to the pre booth at LMT Lab Day Chicago to talk to Elvis and I. It was really great. Great meeting. Super energy. It was not only a great meeting by so many amazing people in our industry, but let's be honest. It is the best part of our industry. Not only are we all so passionate about what we do, we are all just so damn nice. It's Jeez. amazing how nice we are. We're amazing. Yes, we are. So while LMT Lab Day Chicago is over, remember that there are many, many, many shows going on all over the place all year long. And just because Elvis and I can't be at every one recording, it still takes all of us to go to them to keep them going and keep them strong. So get out, get going, 
learn, network, mingle, and grow, and possibly have a cocktail And afterwards. a cocktail. That's how the conversation gets started. <laughs> all right, everybody. That's all we got for you. We appreciate you, and we'll talk to you next week. Have a good one. Bye. Oh, I got it. I'm going to have it later. Did you ever lose it? No. <laughs> Did you ever have it to lose? <laughs> no. I haven't.